Is this the best budget projector light? In this video, we're gonna take a look at the Zidande projection flashlight and how this light can make your photos and videos go from being dull to amazing. To begin, let's start with what comes in the box. Apart from the light itself, it comes with a projection cover which you can just slide in and attach to the flashlight and a set of 20 different pieces of gobos which will allow you to control the shape of your light. But more on that later in the video. It also comes with a storage bag which I currently can't find because this light is so good, it doesn't even leave my bag anymore. The sedan that is so compact, it's just as long as my iPhone 12 Pro Max and about as thick as my external hard drive. And despite its all metal build, it still weighs only 480 grams, which is lighter than most of my lenses. It features a USB-C port for charging and 3 quarter 20 thread mounts, one at each side and one on the bottom to be able to mount it right away in a light stand without the need of any additional accessories. Now, the reason what makes this light so special is in the way it projects its light, which is in a circle. With this, you can get really creative and draw the attention of your video towards where the spotlight is. By pressing the button, you can change it to four different modes or colors, which are warm white, orange, red, and blue. The size of the spotlight is also adjustable by pushing and pulling the front part of the light. And by turning the button, you are able to adjust the intensity of the light which goes up to 10 watts. At max intensity, you are able to get around 4 hours of battery life. And what I love about it as well is that it doesn't discharge real quick unlike other lights. Now, there are tons of ways you can use this light. But I love using it as a main light or spotlight to draw the eye towards a person or a product. You can also get creative and use it to enhance your background or create silhouette shots. One of my favorite ways of using this light though is using it as a backlight as the source of the light is very small and produces this really nice sunray-like light. Not only that, but like I mentioned earlier, this light comes with 20 pieces of different gobos. Basically, it's a dark plate which you put in front of your light source which then projects a shape. With this, you can get even more creative like creating a fake window shadow or creating a cool lighting effect for a product. My personal favorite though is the line one as I can use it for portrait or product videos where I can highlight different parts of my subject. While I absolutely love this light, it definitely has its limitations as well. For example, the maximum output power on this is only 10 watts, which is too weak to use in broad daylight. However, if you are using a light, chances are that you are going to use it in a dark place or with limited light anyway. I would have also wished that they added the whole RGB range with how popular RGB lights already are, instead of just the four modes mentioned earlier, or even just the ability to get a normal cool white instead of a warm white. Also, you cannot adjust the sharpness of the projection light, unlike the more expensive spotlights out there. As you can see, the edges here on the projection light are a bit soft. So if you are looking for those tack sharp edges on your projection light, this might not be the one for you. However, the sedan that costs only $40, which is far more cheaper than buying those big lights where you even need to buy the spotlight attachment separately. Honestly, for $40, this light brings so much value and because of its size and how compact it is, it literally hasn't left my bag since I bought it. Now if you are not living in Asia, there might be a chance that you won't find the sedan de projection light. However, I found out that small rig produces literally the same light which is the small rig RF10C which has the same functionalities, has the same gobos and looks exactly the same. At this point, I don't even know who copied who. The small rig RF10C just costs a bit more at $50. However, at that price point, it still is such a steal for the value that it brings especially for independent filmmakers. Overall, I'm absolutely in love with this light, but let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, a like would go a long way for this channel and would really help it to grow. Hope you enjoyed, and as always, see you in the next one. Peace!